Hey guys, so I was just out doing some neighbors wheels and tires today and I'm just like this garden cart I bought it used and I backed over it with my van and I straightened it out now So it works about 85% of the strength as it originally did but um, If you guys are landscapers or just general gardeners or garden maintenance people This this thing is like unbeatable Like this thing is unbeatable and they make different brands of them um this one here is roughly fits two bags of uh, leaves on it. It'd be nice if it could fit three, but uh, it just go. It fits in my van okay, so um, the size is good and everything. And when I do residentials, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take a blower. I'm gonna take my trimmer, a couple battery bags. Just lock my van up. I one of uh, I'll figure out which one of the houses I'll, uh, that I work with. I'll. Uh, be re I'll be real friendly with them, maybe give them the discount, and then they'll let me use their electricity, and I can use a uh, station up, like, from their house for a day, and just charge my stuff, and, and do it that way, and then just take this little thing. I always thought it'd be neat if they made one of these with, like, a little solar panel on the top, and, like, a little charging thing, or something that, like, follow you around, like, as, like, artificial intelligence gets, like, uh, more, like, interesting it'd be neat if they could make like a little wagon that would just like follow you around as you're landscaping so like solo landscaping um you, you wouldn't backtrack your tracks as much you could keep your stuff going um i mean you know, there's probably a lot of guys who would buy it because it's probably cheaper than hiring a guy well there's different stages to to to, to the uh, lawn maintenance landscaping business but uh, i like to keep things simple and small um no emotional drama with employees i mean some guys have employees they've known forever so it's less there's less uh of that but um i think <laughs> uh -huh. yeah so yeah these little trolleys here are really good uh what else was i gonna say i've used this thing so i bought this thing used for like 50 bucks and i went out the other day and i went up to one of my uh my family's properties to test it out and i went through a bag of uh a fertilizer a little bit too quick so I figured out with the handle you can you can kind of you can kind of there's different stages of open that you can run with and um, it's kind of a feel thing so I burned I did it on one of my family's properties uh, up north so uh, they were more generous because if I went through if I misquoted or whatever they would kind of be they'd be they'd be nicer about it so I didn't burn too much money or any money really on that. But I did go through a bag probably quicker than I should have. And I am looking to get like a, next year or maybe even this year, I'm looking to get like stock fertilizer. So I don't know, or just like like, like a 100 pound bag of fertilizer or something because um, if I can get it cheap enough, I can make a lot of money for doing fertilization. And this was the one I had before. This was... Uh, this is my family members. This is my grandmother's who uh, um, I've used this a couple times and it really sucked. So I wanted to get one where I wasn't being laughed at by people. And this one was used and it's a little bit broken, but it still holds good. Um, it's cracked under there. And these things rust up. So like fertilizer is very corrosive. So once you're done fertilizing, you got to wash it. You got to get wash it off because it almost has like a... Uh, almost has like a little like a binding to it to like metal and it, it, it just rusts it eats through i was hesitant putting it in my new uh my new car because it it eats through everything like you know if any spilled in my car i got the blower after and blew my car out because i didn't want that probably wasn't even good enough but i didn't want that crap in my car it just eats it it's like it's like acidic Okay, so yeah, I'm just, I was just making a video and I've just been walking around, you know, the neighborhood with this little trolley here. I mean, I could take my car and load it up and, and do all that, but like, uh, what's the point when you can just use a little trolley and uh, it, you can kind of cart it around as you're going? It'd be neat if they, like I said, if they had a robot one or something like, you know, something where this will hold like probably, um, I can jump on it and I'm to over 200 pounds. So it'll, pro it'll probably hold around a thousand pounds before. Before I backed over it for sure, maybe now I could hold a thousand pounds. Um, but yeah, that'd be neat. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do you think there'd be like a market for like just a, a little like electric trolley or a little like it would probably be expensive? It'd probably be like two or three grand. But I think like I think if you could use it as like a base charging station 
and it just and it literally just followed you around and hold held your trimmer and stuff when you're done uh when you're done cutting you just go to the trolley you put your old batteries in it and they charge up it's got like a solar panel and then um and then you like cut use your use your trimmer and your blower and you don't really have to like the thing just follows you around all day and it doesn't go fast i think that'd be super cool but i don't know how realistic that is like in the near term or how dangerous that would be like running into your clients cars but uh that's just something i was thinking of anyway um so I'll be starting up my my cutting season. I was gonna start it up. I'm gonna try to do one or two this Friday, but Friday night it's gonna snow. So I also have a couple of clients on Wednesday, and I'm gonna, on Wednesday I'm gonna go visit some of my clients. I've got one client who fertilizes like a madman. His grass is almost knee high right now, and he's he's waiting for some reason. He wants to get it. He wants to get it a little bit. Uh, he wants. He says he wants to get it fluffed up for me. So. Um, <laughs> It's not going to be a very nice first cut, but he's one of my first clients, and uh, he's a good guy. So um, we'll get over there, and we'll, we'll get we'll get that done for him. Um, yeah. So the trolley thing. What do you guys think? Like just like a trolley, like an electric, like an ego trolley that just got like a solar panel. Maybe it can like come up or extend or something, and then you can all, put all your stuff in it. You can put your trimmers like grab. A, here's my like one. This is my new. My new one you can just put your like trimmers on like a rack or something like this and it just kind of like follows you around you could have like one or two two like a two maybe even a troop two person crew or something like trimmers and blowers on them or something i think it might i think it'd be pretty neat maybe i'm just like you know I, but is it worth two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars whatever it would cost if it has batteries on it it'd be like you know almost four grand I don't know, something to think about. As stuff gets cheaper, more uh, more inventive options become uh, doable. But yeah, if you guys don't have one of these little garden carts, you can put the things up. Um, it works just as good as a wheelbarrow in many cases. I'm sure you could get some sort of insider lining for it, which would you could use it as a wheelbarrow. And I've done beach cleanups with this thing. I've done uh, leaf cleanups with this thing. It really, so it really makes things ma more manageable. Um, especially when you're out doing fussy stuff. Anyway, guys, that's enough of a rambling. Uh, peace out, and uh, hopefully uh, your seasons get started uh, pretty sometime soon. Peace.